Hello everyone, if you are watching this, I hope you are doing great. This is technical updates on BTC, looking out on the chart uh, from a technical perspective, what to look out and what to anticipate on BTC. So right here, we are on a monthly time frame on a trading view platform on a BTC USD teacher chart of Binance. So let's get down to the technicals. So firstly, uh, let's plot some levels. First. 65,000 region right so 65,000 was the what was a previous all-time high that was formed previously around the month of April if you can see around April and what we after that all-time high that was from around 65,000 region we had a sell-off huge sell-off that was sold down to the low of 28 30,000 region so we had a low there and uh if you go down to a lower time frame for more detailed price action like a weekly if you notice what we rejected that level for over a couple of weeks there and uh yeah daily time frame again so looking at it you can see that we had what we had an accumulation phase at that low level meaning after those rejection we are actually accumulating at that level so if you're familiar with the work of schematics you will understand that this range was an accumulative phase now after that accumulation we had a breakout which was an impulsive move then we tested we retested that range that range box around 40,000 level so that being said if you're familiar with the five wave circle you can understand that a five wave trend was supposed to occur after that accumulation and which meaning impulse correction then an impulse then there will be another correction right so that being said if you take a look we are at what at the level zone region of what an all-time high which which was 65,000 region which what was a strong resistant level a very stronger level so that being said now also with the school of thought of uh, wave school of thought you know that a uh, five wave circle has to occur in every trend right so that minute that being said it's like we're on the first wave second wave third wave and now we're on the fourth wave and usually the fourth wave has to be a corrective phase right so meaning now, now what we are anticipating should be a corrective phase on the market and from what we are seeing we had an impulse correction impulse then the next thing correction then impulse so and what we had a resistant level also which was a strong resistant level 65,000 region which was an all-time previous all-time high and we if you take a look uh, more in detail you can see that what we took out that high we went above it so meaning why ever all those buy orders that are sitting above have already been induced in the market meaning all those buyouts and profit taking have been done ri right now so now we are accumulating after that huge impulse that we had now that being said and this is a strong level now if you go down to a lower time frame which is the four hour time frame now keep th this in mind when you are when the one principle of wave circle is that the s the second the fourth wave should not go beyond the second wave meaning and also if you take a look at the structure also you can take it as a structure you don't have to take it as a wave principle what we this was this is a structural level meaning as long as we maintain above uh, be, uh, below 50,000 we are still in a bullish circle so meaning we have to go anything beyond 50,000 region for us to uh, for us to conclude that we are above uh above uh to in, in order for us to in a macro perspective in order for us to shift from a bullish circle so meaning to say btc is still in a bullish circle it's a complete bullish circle we did another strong impulse so keep that in mind we are still in a bullish circle and meaning to say that any low below uh anything uh anything above fifty thousand is still a bullish circle so that being said now if you take a look at the price action on a lower macro level you can see uh what we had a we have a low here around uh, 58,900 uh, 5, and what we had a high here then what we had a low that broke up below that 58,000 uh, region then we had a low here which what we failed to form the high above 64 65,000 region that means on a short uh, on a short time structure level we are still 
we are, we are like we are having a structural shift. That being said, we are in the keep that in mind. Also, we are in a corrective phase, meaning by we're just looking for a correction right now for a continuation of, of an uptrend. Now that being said, on an intraday level now, BTC in is a corrective phase, meaning it's a, like a short term bearish trend, meaning short term. Overall, we are still in a bullish circle. So now looking at that, this level right here. was what was should be a lower high since what we have a what we had a low a low what a lower high then the next thing should be what a lower low now that being said also if you take a look at the left hand side of this chart we have we have a strong bearish order block a bullish order block i mean which is sitting right here now around uh so keep this level in mind around 56,000 region that's a that's a bullish order block sitting down there right there so now if you are familiar with the if you're familiar with the structural level that we are in a short term structural shift now if we take a look like this also since we are looking for just a corrective pattern so we can draw something like this which will act like a simple wedge for, uh, like a bullish flag or ascending channel or something anything you want to take look at it and we can have a connect yes now now this is for for the people who are familiar with patterns you already figure out this now that being said also if you take a deeper price action like we go into a more lower time frame Now that being said, if you look at also, if you take a look at the pattern that we have there, it's also a pattern within a pattern, which is like another one, another continuation flag right here. Now what hap what had happened already was what we had already, we formed a lower high, which was we, we formed a low here and we formed a lower high here and we broke out of that ascent, uh, channel also and now we have tested that channel. Now after that, this retest of that uh, of the channel, now what we are anticipating is for something like this to occur. Once we tap this level, then we can consider uh, a reaction based off that bullish order block that is sitting there that has not been tested previously. And then we expect an anticipation, completion of that correction pattern and what we expect to see BTCT had another bullish leg. Meaning to say right now for the for the upcoming week we're anticipating what a bearish movement on btc meaning a short-term bearish movement so we have solid uh, we have short-term bias lead bearish uh, overall we are still in a bullish circle keep that in mind so anything so but once price also keep this in mind once price also broke high above 63 uh, 64 region 64,000 region meaning by we have completely completed that uh circle of accumulate uh, correction that means we are continue we're having a continuation so keep uh, th this price level should be kept in mind so anything above it is com we, are co we have complete our corrections we are moving further above but right now we are anticipating one a deeper correction so that we can have a stronger in impulse meaning we we, we, ex we expect btc to go a little bit more lower so that the, uh, the next impulse will be a little bit more higher so this is uh, so far what we are anticipating on BTC. I hope everyone has a, have a good day.